Okay, so this is elbow bony. Elbow bony land mortise. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, again, there's a couple key points that you can obviously see that really can help with the elbow, and if you can locate those, you're really good. And that's going to be your medial and lateral epicondyles right here on the humerus, right? Okay. So medial is a little bit more prominent than lateral, so if you want to come over here, you can see medial right there, okay? okay. Lateral right here, okay? And then, of course, the big one, this is the fail you don't get a lecrin on, you got a problem. Okay, <laughs> so that's it. And the good news about them is, if you take your you take your fingers and you put them on each one, and then you bend it, they actually make a complete line. So you should never really mess that one up at all. Okay, because they they do they go right into line when they do that. Okay, yeah, so line. medial, lateral, and lecrin on. Okay, yeah. those three. Okay, on that. From here, okay, a um, couple things that we want to look at uh, is one. We want to make sure we get the electron on fossa. Now you got to remember the electron. It's kind of like a hook, okay? And so if it's sitting here, it's going to have to come back into this hole. So the electron on fossa is right here, just superior to the electron because that hook's going to kind of come in and latch in place, okay? So that's the electron on fossa, okay? If we come back to the electron on and we just palpate straight down, okay, we're on the ulnar ulnar border, okay? And that comes all the way down to the ulnar styloid process, which is right there, okay? So just straight on back up and straight on that, that's the whole length of the ulna. So that's that ulnar border right there, okay? So that's a, that's a good easy one right there um, to do. And then the only other bony landmark that we have, which is good, is the radial head. So here's my lateral uh, epicondyle. I come just straight distal to that lateral epicondyle, okay? And now I'm on the radial head. You can see there's a little gap between the two of them right here, okay? Which is the ligament that's gonna be there, but this is the radial head. If you want to feel the radial head move, okay, you can just kind of have them pronate, supinate their wrist, and it rolls with them, okay? And that one. Does that make sense? Does everybody see that? Okay, so that's that radial head where my thumb, is, or my finger is right here. Let me see if it rolls a little bit. Yeah, you can see it kind of roll as she's moving it right here. If I do that. It really rolls. Okay, yep. See that? Yep. Okay. All right. That's bony landmarks right there. So not much when we're talking about.